regardless of your relationship status, everyone should have something to do this Valentine's Day. Just being with each other, I guess, like just enjoying the other's company. Well, Valentine's Day is the, I guess, the day of love. So I guess to be together or in a relationship, um, I guess that gives you the opportunity to, to share in that day. Uh, it varies from year to year. Uh, you know, been known to spend well over a hundred some years and then some years keep it real small. Uh, just kind of depend on the financial situation. Well, it really depends on whether he has been a good boy. If he's been a good boy, I will spend up to probably 50 to to $100. If he has been on my nerves, maybe only five to 10. Uh, it's been quite a while. Um, I would probably say uh, about four years, maybe. This might sound sad to some people. Two years ago, maybe? Well, since I've been married for almost 25 years, and we've been together for almost 32 years, our first date happened a long, long time ago. But it is really important if you're in a relationship to make sure that you have dates. Even if you're married, you have date night. So you do something, and you go to a movie, go to dinner, and it's important to continue to have dates even after you get married. I believe it's more about spending money. People, even if you are in love, you tend to judge how much someone else loves you by the type of gift they give you. Actually, Valentine's Day should be more about uh, love and affection and being with the people that you love and care about the most. Spend the money. I think it's more about love and affection. Are you going to feel more love if I give you more money? No. Love me. Act like you love me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Single and loving it. This is Jeremy Voss, Pioneer TV. We want to wish you a happy Valentine's Day.